Hey guys and welcome back to season 13 of AOR. Today we are in Canada for round 6. But before we get into things, there's been some changes uh, in the league as V6 Racing, or now known as VBR Hamilton, has been kicked uh, alongside with TSR Cal. So we have got two new drivers in uh, for this for this round and the remainder of the season. We've got VBR Heresa, who's obviously been a reserve early in the season. Then we've got a new, completely new driver called uh, Eggy Simon. Um, so we obviously have a championship contender out of league now with V6 Racing being banned from an unfortunate uh, rage collision in, in Monaco. Um, that's just how it goes. If we look at last season, we can see that Cold H3 AD won the race in front of the uh, Iceman and Genius, and Surprise Mayor was on pole with 112 dead. And with that, Let's get into qualifying. So here we go down the main straight. It's a dry qualifying as you can see. We're going to try and look for that 100 meter board break down to third, swing the car in and then get turned to the right and just go easy on the power. It's very easy to spin out here as I manage uh, okay as we now break down to fourth gear go easy in this corner because I found it a bit difficult so I decided to take it easy uh, to get a lap done and we're now here gonna try and keep it in third but I actually only get down to fourth which makes me bottle that corner a little bit but I get a nice exit um, and as you can see I'm up on my time already I'm now gonna break just be under the tunnel here down to fourth cut the corner a little bit but not too much so now set ourselves up for the hairpin very very tricky uh, corner Probably the most tricky on the calendar, uh, not on the calendar, sorry, on the track as we go down to first to get that extra turn in. So now power down the back straight as we prepare to open the DRS uh, and prepare ourselves for another difficult corner. This is just all about getting the brake point right and attacking the curbs as much as you can. As I do it nicely, then I get a good exit. Now it's just the run to the line. What is it gonna be? It's gonna be a 12.7 which is going to put us 11th on the grid which you might think is quite high uh, compared to where I normally qualify but we are only I think 16 runners in this race so that's why I'm further up than normal but with that let's get into the race Now you join me here on the grid as you can see I decided to start on the super soft tires and the five lights are about to go and we are away. Seem to get a decent start but as you can see most of the guys ahead are on ultra soft tires so they're gonna get a better start than me. We go a little bit easy in the first corner but I still hit someone there and this just spins me out and I have to go on the outside but I don't seem to lose any positions unless of course we're gonna aggressive yes Chirac is gonna very aggressive into that corner and I just let him through for safety reasons um, yeah and there's been ooh, it's a bit of a scrap behind us um, but we stay in p11 that's good no positions lost off the start we can always build uh, from here as we maybe can mount an attack at Chirac if we can keep close to him uh, down the back straight as it seems he's locking up his tires and as you can see he's on the soft tires so uh, with the super soft tires I have right now I should be able to go past him if everything goes according to plan Ooh, he goes deep I try to sneak it up the inside but he gets on the power and uh, I can't go past him but maybe I can get some good slipstream down this corner yeah um, not really maybe I think I'm gonna need to the DRS first we're just gonna follow him around because there's no need to make make a lunge for no reason that's just uh, cut the corner a little bit but just have to spot my braking points on on the super soft tires um, as we're now maybe gonna come on attack from the Red Bull behind us. We move across. Ooh, but I'm not sure if he's gonna dive from me, so I give him space. That leaves him a space, and now he's gonna be on the outside. And we're gonna. Oh! Well, that's my good start to the race done. Um, I don't know if that was my fault or his fault, but just as I switched camera to look at him, I sort of came across the track and hit him. But um, there's nothing I can do about that as I just spin around. Um, and now we are gonna cut on to when something exciting happens. Eventually. So in the meantime, uh, I pitted for the soft tires and fixed my front wing. 
but the safety car also came out. And as you can see, I'm just about caught the pack. I uh, changed them down for a few laps trying to catch up, and I just managed it in time. Um, um, but as you can see, I'm on fresh softs and with new front wings, so maybe we can uh, make some moves uh, up the field now. Um, but as you can see, a lot of people ahead of me have done the same, as it is the best strategy to pit onto the softs when the safety car comes out. Um, but uh, I think we should be able to make some moves. As you can see, we are in P15, so uh, we didn't lose that many positions by, by crashing that, but that's uh, due to the few runners in, in this race. As we can see, there's been it's been some fighting going on. Maybe we can take Callum around this sweeping corner. Yeah, we should be able to, and that's already another place up, so that's good. Hopefully we can uh, continue this in the battle stop and gymnast um, when the DRS uh, gets open in the next few laps but for now we're just gonna follow him round and try and take it a bit more easy as I um, as I sh probably should have done that the first time and just concentrate a little bit but I didn't and that's what put me in the wall Ooh, stop on Jimmy's did he go a bit deep? Nah he, he got a good exit so but I'm a bit behind him so maybe I'm gonna come under attack from Callum here yeah it seems seems like he's probably gonna get some good slipstream yeah, is he gonna mount a move? I think he's too far behind. No, he goes for it. I just leave him the space, but I get a good exit and should be able to reclaim this position going in to the first corner. We are side by side. Come on. Dive up it in it's inside. Oh no god! No god, please no! 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 Oh, get turned! Turn, no, we, oh no, please, get off me. What, what the fuck, that's my, f oh my god, not again. Well, that's the Codemaster's um, side part glyph, glitch of death there, so that's pretty much put me back to um, square one, so there's no reason showing me going round into the pits. One eternity later. Yeah, and lucky for me, the safety car came out again. Um, so I pitted for another set of softs and um, caught the pack up. I'm still in P14, um, uh, surprisingly enough, but I'm now behind uh, Camundo, my, my fellow Dane here, so hopefully I won't crash into him as I did um, all the others, other times, and he might just give me a telling off as I was in the same party as him uh, doing, doing this um, race. Um, but I'm probably just gonna stay a bit behind him here because that was my tactic because I didn't want to crash out again as I've done twice already and been saved by the safety car. Um, oh, and there's been... Ooh, that was Taylor and VBI Raikkonen. I think one of them was actually leading the race or maybe in P2 or 3, so that's uh, very bad for them. As Bixi, ooh, just dives up inside. That's an aggressive move. I really did not see that coming. It really caught me by surprise there. Um, Bixie did so that's another position loss but I'm P13 I should be able to pick up some points if that uh, crashing going up ahead uh, will continue and, but obviously I'm a bit behind Bixie now so I doubt any moves will, will be happening soon as he is also faster than me but there's a lot of smoke up ahead what's something happened oh yeah that's stubborn gymnast going slowly it must have collided with someone and that should give us some slipstream opportunities mm, yeah we should have that place done and dusted unless he decides to move no he's too far behind to make a move so that's p12 as a bottle at corner a little bit can he get back at me Stockman? yeah i think with some slipstream he might be able to make a move if he's aggressive oh i just completely bottled there it gives him a chance but it seems like he's gonna stay behind me uh, for safety reasons so that's that position secured. Now we cut on later to lap 27. As you can see, I'm now in P8 uh, because people have crashed out and um, mostly I uh, haven't really overtaken anyone. As I just hit the wall, this is gonna give stubborn gymnast uh, a chance to come back at me as he's just been behind me for, for a few laps now. Ooh, squeeze him out a little bit. Oh, and he just, he just came across and, and hit me. Um, I don't really think that was my fault to be honest I think he just I don't know if there was some lag going on or something but I was a bit angry at the time because I was looking at some decent points in P8 um, but that's how it goes um, as we now cut on to lap 31 as we are getting caught by the new driver uh, VBR Hereza in, in the Sauber 
Oh, it's the Renault, sorry. And um, he's obviously on the super soft tires, and that just made me shit myself because I couldn't really concentrate because I got a bit angry by that collision with Stop and Gymnast, so I just lost my composure a bit. Um, also because I have penalties, which means that I need to finish some second, I think six seconds ahead of the guys if I want to secure points. So that's uh, been annoying. But now we cut onto the last lap as I've closed in on Callum in the P9. Um, and I'm going to try and do my best to make a move here on the final lap into the final corner. We're going to get the DRS and the slipstream. I've caught him up, uh, I think, by a few seconds a lap. So we should have the pace here. There goes the slipstream. This should be an easy move. But I just broke a bit too late and nearly made it uh, a possibility for him to get the place back. But he doesn't. So that's going to be P9 so far. But I do have that penalty. But I think I get promoted to P8 if I'm not mistaken yeah P8 so the guys ahead must have, has, must have had loads of penalties yeah VBR a racer with I think 12 seconds of penalties as you can see Bixi joining my party here as he came to absolutely rage at Camundo I think because they collided into some corner there were really some some angry uh, voices going on but uh, congratulations to all around uh, for winning uh, the race um, but so far at this time of recording there's been some talks about a rerun um, I don't know if that's gonna happen but apparently there was a lot of lag going on in this lobby I didn't really notice that too much to be honest but it was an issue for some guys especially the mighty midget who disconnected uh, all the time but we'll leave that um, to another day as we are now going to look uh, at the standings now and as you can see V6 Racing is gone and we have a new championship leader in all rounder X uh, with 58 points in front of Camundo and uh, Jambo uh, X uh, and this very very close at the top of the standing is 10 points separating the top 4 just about and here we move on to the latter half as you can see Eggy Simon in last um, I move up a place into 18th with now 10 points and hopefully I can be able to build on that next time in Austria <laughs> 